Previously on The Potentialists. What looked like a lifeboat. Donkey! 30 donkeys coming at you. What about Cardi here? They went super steep down. Oh, what a weird sensation. <laughs> and I'm paranoid of fish. Our ship is docked in the middle of nowhere. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. Sorrento, Italy. Beautiful place. The only thing is that I really hate doing is joining one of those tour guides and be going out there with a little flag going, hey, I'm here. I hate that. This is the only one that we did as a tour. The bus tour wasn't really that much. All they did was basically drive us. It was just over here, look gorgeous. You turn over here, it looks beautiful. You look over there, it's gorgeous again. It was just an amazing place. Everything looked like if it was fake, like if it was all a painting. Italy is eye candy galore everywhere, everywhere. I mean, the architecture, from the clothing to the food. You could look around and everywhere you would turn, it looked like, a, like some sort of portrait or a picture of something. Every time you turn the street, something looks different. When we got there, I noticed there was one traffic light. And they're actually waiting for the red light. <laughs> Only one. And I couldn't believe that people actually stopped for this traffic light. In fact, there was this lady on the scooter or moped or whatever it is, and she took the light. That lady just took the red light. And I was in shock. But they were waiting there for at least 15 minutes. Very picturesque, and soon we'll be going on a boat to go to Isle of Capri. But here is downtown Sorrento. Hey, Sabrina. Oh, she's wearing makeup. Oh, she's wearing. She's wearing it. Okay. I just point back. Oh, look, Dylan. She's giving you something. We need to buy the limousine. That's Dylan. Thank you. He was a sexy cop. Okay, oh, hey, he liked her. The people. I don't know. <laughs> the bite. He bites. Oh, he bites. I had this whole other conception of how Italians were, and they taught the New Yorkers. <laughs> They taught the New Yorkers for sure. They're just like a little rough. And I don't know, I guess because I'm from South Florida and you know, we're just like laid back and casual and you know, friendly and stuff. And it was just like, it was, it was weird. We're like a herd of people on our way for food um, at the Hotel Eden. Um, mama. Go as group one brown goes. Mama. And my son keeps saying mama. Mama. Dylan, are you ready to go home? Wait till Rome. You ready to go home? Yeah. You wanna go home? You don't wanna stay in Italy? Why don't we move to Italy? You? I'm enjoying the moments, but I'm looking forward to home too. Look, ah, here. This is what she did. This is what she did. Look. I put that in my mouth. I thought it was a coffee bean, but it's melty. <laughs> There was this town uh, in the Amalfi Coast and we got on a boat and that boat took us to the Amalfi Coast which is absolutely spectacular. So that's the view of us going to the Isle of Capri. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. Limoncello store since 1905. It's called Limonoro. Toasted almond with a lemon cream and chocolate. Toasted almond with a lemon cream and chocolate. Signorina? Tutto fresco. 
Oh, look at the size of those. Limoni. Is that how they make the limoncella? Right next to the food market, there's like all these different shops. And I love coffee, but the most funny thing in the world is that they have every single coffee machine you can ever think of. Espresso, cappuccino, they got everything. Wow, look at all these babies out. Oh my gosh. Do they got big girl sizes? They had this pizza machine, a machine that would make pizza right there. Not a frozen pizza, no, no, it was made. Are you kidding me? Nope. I want one of those. I want a pizza machine. Dad, you, you, you're seeing this. We were all in shock and awe on how a vending machine can actually make pizza for you. I was looking for a little guy in there cooking the pizza. <laughs> Makes it in like five minutes and it was, it was awesome. Is, and it's in a pizza box. That is, there's two? Oh no. Holy caca. That is cool. Awesome. That's so cool. Look at the pizza box. It's history at its best. There's nothing better than actually traveling the world and experiencing it firsthand. There's nothing, nothing in this world that compares to it. How you doing? Check this out. It's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out. If you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?